What is fiscal drag? Put simply, fiscal drag is when more people are dragged into paying tax, often without noticing. It's a way for governments to raise more money without changing the main rate or percentage of tax that you pay. Fiscal drag happens when tax thresholds, such as the amount you can earn before you pay tax, rise at a slower rate than wages. Government tax revenue rises because more people start paying taxes and because a greater percentage of our income becomes taxable. In this short video, we'll explain, using a worked example, how this difference causes fiscal drag. We'll also illustrate how, when prices are rising as fast as wages, fiscal drag actually reduces your standard of living and makes you poorer. And finally, we'll consider the implications of fiscal drag on government finances and the wider economy. But before we do all that, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It not only helps me, but also makes it easier for others to find this video by improving my YouTube rankings. Thank you. The best way to understand fiscal drag is with a worked example. Imagine that you earn $50,000 a year. Wherever you live, it's unlikely that you'll pay tax on all of this, as most governments around the world allow you to earn a certain amount without paying any tax at all. In the US and the UK, this is about $15,000 a year. So this means, in our example, you'll only pay tax on $35,000 of what you earn. At a tax rate of 20%, this means an annual tax bill of $7,000. Overall, this is 14% of your total earnings, leaving you with $43,000 for living costs. Now, let's imagine that your earnings go up 10% to $55,000. In this scenario, your taxable earnings rise from $35,000 to $40,000 and your tax bill from $7,000 to $8,000 a year, leaving you with $47,000 rather than $43,000. Although you're now paying 14.5% of your income in taxes, you have more income and hence more money to spend on living and buying the things that you like. We've just seen how fiscal drag results in you paying more tax and a higher percentage of your income to the government. However, in our example, you would still end up with more money in your pocket, even though you're paying more tax. In this section, we expand our example to show that unless wages are rising faster than prices, then fiscal drag will make you poorer. In our previous example, we saw that someone earning $50,000 would be left with $43,000 after tax. Let's assume that they spend all of this on living costs, leaving them with no spare money. Their quality of life costs them $43,000 a year. Now, if their wage rises by 10%, we know that their post-tax income rises to $47,000. However, prices are rising too, which means that their cost of living has also gone up by 10% to $47,300. This means that they can no longer afford all the items they used to buy. Their cost of living now exceeds the money they have to spend. Consequently, they will have to borrow money or reduce their spending by $300 to cover the difference, with a consequent reduction in their quality of life. The key thing to note here is that fiscal drag depends upon how three factors relate to each other. They are the rate at which wages are rising, price inflation in the economy, and what governments are doing to tax thresholds. Politicians love fiscal drag. It simultaneously gives them more money and allows them to claim they haven't even raised taxes. Of course, we've seen this isn't strictly true. They are raising taxes, just not by changing the percentage of tax that you pay. It's done by freezing tax thresholds. It's like someone taking money out of your back pocket when you're not even looking. As more people get dragged into paying tax, and existing taxpayers pay a greater percentage of their income in tax, the impact on government finances can be huge. 
as fiscal drag starts to work, we find that a greater percentage of our national income is taken by the government, and this can amount to billions and billions of dollars every year. So does this mean that governments have more spare money as tax revenues rise? Not necessarily. Fiscal drag is most potent when wages are rising much faster than tax thresholds. However, we need to remember that governments employ lots of people and as wages rise, so will the cost of providing government services. Governments also buy a lot of products too, and these prices will be rising as well. So although we would expect governments to be better off from fiscal drag, it's not necessarily certain and will depend on how fast the cost of providing government services are rising compared to how fast their tax revenues are increasing. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like the video and to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.